my gosh wait okay i don't need to comb this anymore or brush it anymore it's it's, it's detangled that was lovely it was so lovely oh, i love it i love it <laughs> Hello Kellys, it's Mary and welcome back to the Kelly Closet. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. If you're returning to my channel, then welcome back. I just wanted to say a massive thank you before I begin to all of you for your response to my recent brush reviews. I'm gonna leave a link up here so that you can check out my other comb and brush reviews. But today, it's the turn of the Tangle Teaser Wet Detangling Hairbrush. Now, I have previously done a review on the Tangle Teaser Thick and Curly. I will also link this up here. But today is the turn of the wet detangling brush. I came across this brush from another YouTuber, another UK based YouTuber, uh, Nikki Be Natural. Nikki, thank you for your video. But pretty much hers is the only video that I've seen where this has been used. I know there are others, but I purposely do not watch other comb and brush reviews because I don't want to get influenced. I want to really give my real opinion on camera. Sorry guys, as usual, my lip is dry, excuse me. Now, before I watched Nikki's video, I did not actually know that there was a wet detangling hairbrush from Tangle Teaser, but she highly recommends it in her video, so I wanted to try it out. I've ordered this off Amazon. I ordered it quite a while ago, but I just haven't quite gotten around to it. But you know, now that we have all the time in the world at home, it's time to review the brush. So it comes in a lovely plastic package like this this is the brush it comes with a british flag because tangle teaser is a british company and it says here a superior detangling hairbrush firm flex teeth confidently and gently detangle hair with no pulling limiting breakage and damage so one thing I already like about the brush before I've even started is just the fact that it has a handle because when I reviewed the tangle teaser thick and curly one of my issues was the whole thing about like holding on to the tangle teaser like this with my hands wet and product being on my hands as you know when the, the brush just keeps slipping out your hand right so this already is winning for me okay so this is the back of the brush we have the tangle teaser logo hopefully you can see that come around to the front the front is matte which is good because then that means you can get a good grip so if you look carefully at the bristles, again, we have a set of uh, short and tall alternating teeth, which feel, the edges do not feel sharp, but they are a bit pointy. And it has the tangle teaser sound. I already got a good feeling about this. I don't know why. You know it is this feels so nice it's very ergonomic like it just fits nicely into your hand the handle is not too long and it's not too short i don't know i might like this one so i'm about to start the demo of the brush but before i do that if you like comb and brush reviews on type 4 natural hair then i suggest that you subscribe below Hit the red subscribe button below also hit the bell for notifications you actually need to hit the bell twice and click all notifications and that way you'll get all the notifications and that way you'll get more content like this from me okay let's go my hair is clean just came out of the shower it's washed it's conditioned i did pre-poo it and i did comb it out during my pre-poo but as you know, sometimes you can pre-poo your hair and then detangle it and then the next thing you know after you've washed and conditioned it, the tangles just come right back again, you know? But today's leave-in of choice is going to be Afrocentric's smooth, brilliant, black female-owned business from the UK. This product is technically a moisturising cream, but the consistency of it is like a milk, so it works well for me as a moisturiser or just as a leave-in. I'm going to put some of it in this section. As you can see, my hair is still bit wet not really okay damp as usual and work some in to the roots let me see if I can just okay so I'm gonna pin this up wish me luck okay, so. 
so far so nice. Easy. Easy. Very easy. Ooh. Wait. Hold on. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay, I don't need to comb this anymore or brush it anymore. It's, it's, it's detangled. That was lovely. It was so lovely. I love it. I love it. To be fair, I can't really fully judge it from just that section. These round here tend to be the easiest bits to detangle because my texture is very different around there. Let me wait until we get further to the front before I get too excited, okay? Okay, nice. Oh, resistance. Not a lot though. Okay, resistance again. But it dealt with it quite nicely. Oh, now we're getting into the now. Uh, okay, now we're getting into the roots. We need to give it a bit more welly. <laughs> There's a good old British phrase for everybody that's watching that's not from the UK. Give it a bit of welly. What do you guys say? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Ah, now there's only one thing I'm not so liking so much now. My hands are getting a bit wet and it's slipping a bit. So yeah, pretty much this section is detangled. It's very fluffy. I'm glad that the handle does have this little peak right here. Because then even though your hand is slipping a little, it doesn't let it slip all the way off the end. Now I know, I know, somebody's gonna say in the comments they don't like the sound. They think it sounds like it's ripping out your hair. Trust me, babes. Trust me, babes. <laughs> it's not ripping out your hair. It's really not. It's not. It just sounds that way, but it's really not. At least not on my hair. Let's see. Another section. I like this brush, look. That didn't take long at all. And it went right through to the roots nicely. One thing I will say about this brush, you need to hold it with a really firm grip. Like you can't just loosely hold it and then expect it to go through the tangles. Like you have to actually really give it a good, a good solid grip. When I hold it with a solid grip, even if I feel a little bit of resistance, if I persist with it, with the way the bristles are, it actually just moves through it quite well. I almost feel like I don't have to worry about doing damage to my hair if I feel a bit of resistance, like I can actually persist in pushing it through my hair because the way the bristles are set up, it actually goes through the tangles quite well. You just have to kind of have a bit of faith in it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, so for the next section, sections should I say I've actually taken out two of my twists to create a big section reason being I would like to see how it works going through one big section now I know normally people wouldn't necessarily do this when I'm reviewing a product I'm responsible for trying it in multiple ways just so that you can get an idea of how it works in different situations if I give a product the ideal scenario to work in all the time, then all of my reviews are just going to be like, oh yeah, it's a great brush. If I try it out on, on hair that's a little bit more tangled than usual or a larger section than normal, then you can get an idea of how it's really going to work in your hair. So, one large section. Here we go. Nice. Oh, oh. Bit of a challenge. Okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah, we're experiencing a little more tangling here. Okay, that's done. Nice, okay. Oh, I'm 
picked up there. Okay. Okay. Ow, that hurt a little actually. Okay, my, my, it's, it's, it's hurting my hand slightly from the slipping. But you know, I did decide to put it in a difference, in, in a massive section, so am I really surprised? Ooh. Okay, this, this, this ain't gonna work. So that was fun to try, just as an experiment. But clearly, a section like this ain't gonna work. Let's split it into maybe a section of about that size. So one thing I will say that I've noticed is a similarity between this Tangle Teaser and the Thick and Curly Tangle Teaser. Because of the flat nature of the way that this is laid out and also because of the length of the bristles, you can see the bristles are not that long, you do have to work in smaller sections. Obviously you could kind of logically deduce that from just looking at the brush really and knowing how detangling natural hair really goes but it's still good to see anyway it gives a bit of a confirmation see simple very easy indeed And it gets into the roots nicely too which i feel like is a bit easier to do because this has a handle i remember with the other tangle teaser that i tried it was a bit tricky to get into the roots because of how the shape was like trying to force it in it was just weird the handling but this works a lot better is now detangled and twisted up so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the brush right now this is the gross part of the video where you see <laughs> all of the shed hair but this is how much we have yeah that's a good amount but before this wash day I actually hadn't washed my hair for two weeks or more so yeah there's that but to be completely honest it's not bad I feel like it did a very thorough job of detangling my hair I would say it's pretty easy to handle and I really enjoy it the bristles they go through your hair very easily it especially gets through tangles very well i think that this just gives you the benefits of the smaller handheld tangle teaser but just with the handle in that regard i think it is a definite improvement on the design because the other one was slipping out of my hand a lot more having said that though this still does have a bit of slip on your hands some slipping out of your hands is inevitable if your hands are wet or you've got product on your hands but this is marketed as a wet detangler. The fact that this is so glossy actually contributes to it. But even the side that's a bit more matte also still has some slippage to it. I would like them to, can you guys like put in some kind of grip or something here? Like just to make it a little bit easier. That's the only real criticism that I have of this brush. When I was brushing a smaller section, it actually wasn't that bad is when I tried to tackle the biggest the biggest section should I say that I had more of a problem if your hair is um very thick or very long then splitting your hair up into more smaller sections definitely helps so final question do I like this brush yes I feel like it cut down my detangling time I'm very happy about that I love the fact that it smooths your hair as well as just taking out tangles as well so would I recommend it? I would say yes. The main claim on the packaging is that every strand of hair is detangled quickly and gently. I would say yes, it does. I'm not going to say I'm blown away by the brush. Like, oh my gosh, it does something that other brushes don't do. I feel like each individual brush has its own pluses and minuses. I may love it you may not like it and vice versa but for me i do like this brush i will be keeping it in my arsenal of detangling brushes so now over to the question of the day which is have you tried detangle teaser wet detangling brush and how did you find it leave your comments in the comment section below i know that a lot of people have watched my 
easy detangler brush reviews so far so if you would like me to actually do a comparison video <laughs> then let me know again leave your comments please in the comment section below thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then please share it with a friend sharing helps to spread my videos all around the youtube universe and i'll see you again in an upcoming video wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair i'll see you again soon on the curly closet take care bye ryan little <laughs>